launch one of these projects, I'm curious about the strategy that you use to market it and to gain attention. Obviously, you have the reach of the initial individual and the talent, but what are the strategies you deploy to make sure this is a, a winning campaign or, or a winning launch that may be different from uh, any traditional campaigns that you would have run to promote a movie, for example? What, what avenues, what mediums uh, that you have to sort of target and focus on? That, that's kind of interesting, actually, because I've always marveled at how a traditional movie studio spends tens of millions of dollars annually, if not more, on a billboard on Sunset Boulevard above the Chateau Marmont. And, and I truly look at that and go, how could you spend $100,000 a week for a billboard that maybe 10 people see? maybe 10,000 people see, but you have no understanding of whether they see the movie, care about the movie, engage in the movie, in a landscape in which you can so hyper-target audiences. Traditional studios aren't built to do that, and traditional marketing campaigns aren't built to be efficient. You're rewarded and incentivized for doing things the same way. That's the great joy of this space, you take a Tyson or a Dennis Rodman. In our instance, we took Rodman, who's a client of ours, who again, uh, this is not about my feeling of what audiences would connect with or what I feel would be good for him. We on a very granular basis say, what does his audience base statistically, analytically, what do they care about? What comes back is, well, they really care about the bulls and they really care about his fashion, they really care about his hair, and they really care about his clothing, at which point you say, well, let's reverse engineer into that audience. What if we were to do an NFT collection that's about what he's wearing, what his hair looks like, how he's engaging as a fashion icon? Let's respect what his target audience cares about and deliver what they care about. So the creative is very much... Uh, in respect of and deliberately targeted to to market to and engage with what his fans want and care about. So we're instantly entering the space with something creatively that won't disappoint his audience. And that's really mm -hmm. important to us. We're not going off brand here. We're respecting and elongating the brand. And then true to this space, community arenas, whether it's Twitter spaces or Discord, are enormous market movers for NFT buyers. We, we curate those communities. Uh, we have specialists come up to talk to those communities. And marketing is done as native social advertising, all organically. We don't pay for any advertising. So you're really honoring and respecting his inbuilt fan base which is the entire purpose of what Web3 does is building atomic networks that you can scale as a whole. That is radically different to, I mean, the quarter of a billion dollars of marketing spend that I've overseen at, at movie studios. It is almost the exact opposite. But it's, it's, it's funny because it's actually what good marketing looks like. Even if we took the, the, the Web3 component out of it, the fact that you want to understand and to communicate with an audience in the way that is authentic and is and is exactly the way that they expect you to communicate with them i don't it's funny how that doesn't seem to it's not common sense that's the way everybody should market even if you had a quarter of a billion dollars that's the way you should still market it's so, exactly correct but if you're yeah. a big executive at a studio you want it to be your taste and your vision and your mind and your marketing pred because that's how you justify your big outsized paycheck. You know, listen, there's a lot of there's a lot of people that are going to be pissed off with with what you're doing. <laughs> in a good way, in a good, very good way. I think you're you know, you're using tech, but the way that you the way that you the way that you market, the way that you build this business and this business model and all the forward thinking ideas that you incorporate, there's a lot of people that you could put out of work and out of business if if you do this at scale. I guess that's the goal. That's always the goal. Well, Scott, I will tell you, when I showed up in my mid-twenties and said I'm going to build a movie studio in Hollywood, uh, I cannot tell you the number of people who thought I was a complete lunatic. Uh, well, that's a I good sign. 
historically, right, historically you have to you have to respect existing legacy systems. But common sense is undervalued in this space, and I'm a big believer in in common sense. I love that. Oh, 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 oh,